Okay, so we have our image separated into three different layers. And now we want to be able to export it in a way that we can make use of it in another program. And there's um, two steps that you want to do and pay close attention to, to make sure that, that will work for you. Um, basically, the idea is that you want to export each of the layers separately. That's one of those points. Um, and the uh, second point is that you want the background in each of those layers to be transparent. So those, uh, those are the two concepts that you want to keep in mind. So how do we do this? Um, there are two ways to actually export the layers from Photoshop. I'm going to show you one of those ways first, because there are times when you only want to uh, export one of perhaps many layers within an image. Um, but in fact, you could, you could export all of the layers this way as well. But I got to say that because it's slower in the way that I'm first going to describe to you, you normally would only pick this one if you wanted to export one of the layers. So you are in, you, to do that, you'd be in the layers window. And from the options of the layers window, you would go uh, to export as. And then here you would pick a um, file format and you would, and when it says export all, it just simply means it's going to export everything that's on that layer. The key here in uh, doing this one is the file format to keep the transparency. So many of the fi file formats that are available to you to, to uh, export from here do not uh, contain, the, will not allow you to keep the transparency. Notice PNG does, but JPEG does not. Neither does GIF, you know, and if we uh, went down to Syria, Oh, oh, sorry, I thought there was one more final uh, option down here, but that's not true. So of these, the only one that's going to allow me to keep the transparency is the PNG. So um, that's good because uh, a, a good option for us because we are going to XD, uh, which is going to stay on screen as an application. If we wanted to separate these layers and reassemble them for a print application, then a PNG is not a good file format because the resolution will be uh, really low and it won't, it'll look fine for you when you're still in Illustrator, let's say, but when you print it out, it won't look very good. So um, in this case, and a PNG file format is specifically to save things that are going to go to a website or in our case, go to an app design. Um, so I'm gonna select PNG I do want transparency checked and uh, let's leave it at the full 24 bit size, not reducing it any further. And then if we wanted to physically change its size, we could do it here. And then we would say export all, meaning everything on this layer. Um, I'm gonna cancel this because I want all three layers. I don't want just one layer. So if I wanted all three by this method, I would have to do it this time for this layer and do it again for each of my other two layers. So obviously that's going to be a slower process. So I'm going to cancel that. And instead of going to the options from the layers window, I'm going to go, I'm, I'm up at the top. Again, I'm sorry you can't see this on the, the, the video, but I'm uh, or recording, but I'm going up to um, the file category of the Photoshop menu at the very top of the screen. And I'm coming down to export. And I'm um, going down to the option that says layers to files. So I'm selecting that one and it comes up. And of course, first I need to make sure it's saving in the location that I want it to go to. And so um, I'm using the, the folder that I created to hold my layers in the first place um, uh, and the uh, Photoshop file. Sorry, let me say that again. I am, I am going to the folder that holds the Photoshop files and I'm about to add the separated layers of that file to the same folder. Okay. Um, 
I can select visible layers only. Uh, in this case, it doesn't make any difference because I don't have any layers over here that are, are not visible. They're all visible. So I'm going to get all of the layers, whether I check or not uh, this particular option. I just kind of feel more comfortable checking. Now, my file type here, I have a few more options from, from this. I have a BMP, JPEG, a PDF, a PSD, or Photoshop file, a target file, a TIFF file, a PNG 8, and a PNG 24. And again, if I pick any of these other file formats, I'll pick a JPEG, because that would be a common one you might pick. Notice it doesn't give you the option of saving transparency. So um, and I'm not going to go through all of these, but they, they won't give you that option. So PNG 8 will and a PNG 24 will. So what's the difference? The difference is the resolution. So a PNG uh, 24 bit versus 8 bit is what that those numbers are indicating. And we want the higher resolution version. So I'm going down to PNG 24. I have transparency checked. And then it's um, just going to say run. And now this is going to take a second or two. It's going to just be a white screen for the minute. And depending upon the size and complexity of the layers that you are sending, it, it'll take a little bit longer. So there was the, my first sky layer. There uh, was, I think, my, uh, yeah, my, uh, it didn't take long to do the cliff layer, I guess. And then it gives me this indication that all the layers to files command was successful. So I say, okay, great. And then I'm going to come out here and look at, and here's the folder I was sending it to, and there, in fact, are my layers. So I'm feeling good about that. 